Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge for the 1st of January 2020. Happy New Year. Uh, today we are stealing the three parts of the Nocturne Experiment, avoiding alarms as much as possible. We are dialing, silenced, and X offworld. The only one that matters is silence, which is generally really good for us because we want to avoid alarms. And otherwise it's usually a, a mixed bag, but today it's mostly beneficial. All right, got a concussion hammer, long range crash beam, and a visitor. And not being silenced would have actually helped here a bit to get the key cards from them, but oh well. We've got light reinforcements and autopilot. So we need to be extra sure that we're not setting off the alarm at any point. Okay. Could have been. I could have. Uh, probably should have stopped a little bit farther away. I like to gain a bit more speed as before docking. Uh, it seems like most of the time spent uh, in the docking process is from just the approach itself. So the more speed you have going in, I find the less uh, well, yeah, the less time it takes. So let's get you to come a bit closer. Um, what just happened there? Uh, uh, I know. Hmm. Well, that was weird. Uh, on the plus side, it lets me. I wonder if I can pick him up without them setting off the alarm. I can! Hey, <laughs> hey, that's neat. That was, that was some weird stuff. I know, I think I've seen a post on the Steam forums. That someone had found out why that happens. But... I'm not really sure. Or I can't remember exactly what causes it. Okay, so now I've got the question of do I want to get that crate? Let's look at the rest of the ship. We've got that one, which is. Uh. You. Uh. It's less out of the way in that I need to get that key card. And going down here will probably be just slightly faster, so I'll be getting that crate. And then there's a chance I'll get things from key card carriers. But other than that. And we don't I don't have anything that greatly increases our speed, so I think I will be going for this. Uh, 
Alright, self-charging visitor. Not sure if I have use for that on this ship. But combined with the extreme range visitor, we can do some great stuff on that in future ships. guns while we're at this. Actually, we can... Actually, could go directly to the crate from this, but this, but we can't get out quickly from here. get forward. So I think going up here will save a little bit of time. And there's a chance that uh, whatever's in here uh, will be beneficial before it runs out. A shotgun, I'll take that. how close you are to shooting. So I'll go ahead and take care of you with that. get into this room and then visit and then when I'm at the end of the visit I can shoot out the window in here we've got some sort of a teleporter So it's not a sidewinder. So that means I don't really have a use for it. I guess sidewinder isn't even help that helpful either. All right. So we'll take out you. And I should have gone after you first. I think this will still hit you before then. And 
that should get all three of them. And then now I can shoot and I should have time that it such that it pulls me out. Alright, 35 is a long time. But what did you get from it? Yeah, the long range visitor, that's going to be useful. Okay, we got heat sensors, emergency shields. Luckily, we can crash guards. Oh, I didn't pick up what that last guard had. Whoops. Uh, that guard that was carrying something. Hopefully it wasn't too important. Okay, so we've got two emergency shields that we need to worry about. Now, would it be worth using an extreme range visitor here? Uh, I think I'd rather... It's, we don't have to walk that much farther to use the self-charging one. And then we're just missing out on one cargo crate by doing this. But extreme range visitor plus another visitor gives a large amount of speed to the third ship, most likely. So I think I'm fine with ignoring that one. Walk over here, so hopefully Okay, they can see me, but I can still crash them. Alright, and that's actually got a longer reach than I thought. And depending on what this is... It's a subverter. Well, it's a one-use subverter. <laughs> so I probably should have used it on this door. Whoops. Oh well. Uh, anything else to do from here? Nope, just wait. So yeah, that makes up for a lot of the time taken on the first ship. Take 
another gun, and on to the final. Everyone is shielded. Lots of heat sensors. Uh, predator you can deal with by teleporting around or uh, crashing. Heavy reinforcements is annoying. Depending on the layout, I may consider crashing it from the outside. Uh, jammer shouldn't be too bad. Defender is annoying. All right, well, let's see how the layout of this ship is. Okay, so we're fairly close to the center. Great. I don't think we'd have to be getting too far in before we could extreme range visit and long range visit to there. And I don't think I saw a, a secondary entryway. I should double check that. Yeah, it's just that one. Alright, so we'll approach from the bottom. Uh, okay, still four seconds. Alright, let's look at the range. So we've got one, two, and a half, two thirds, two and two thirds ish. What a two and a half to be safe. So if I manage to get up here, that's one, two, and a half, which lets me get to about here, which I can walk up here and. Pretty sure I could long range visit directly to here. That's one, one, two ish. It's one, two ish. Yeah. So my plan is to. Hmm. So I need to do something about the key. So another option is to use this here, move up here, visit here to get the key. And then I just need to deal with these. Hmm. Actually, I'm not going to worry about crashing the telepad because I don't want the alarm to go off in the first place. Alright, so I can... I could use the visitor. Just go here. Uh, crash and take out this group. Or I could crash... Alright, so I can visit down here. Crash and take out this whole group. And then just immediately walk back down there. That'll be much faster than doing anything over here, and it clears them out because I need to walk by that place, anyways. So, I want to get a multi crash because I want that sentry gun to be out as well. Luckily, you've got a wrench. Okay. So.
So take a step down, crash both of you, take a step up, crash both of you, and then crash you. Get your item a visitor. Hey. Um, we are silenced. So let's go and take care of you. Uh, did you get hit? There we go. Okay. Uh, so now that we've got another long range visitor. I could. Alright, so I could go with my original plan of going here first. So I can go here, or so visit to here, visit and visit. coming back oh yeah because I this one's still recharging okay so I don't think I can do that yet um, I might see if I can disable this I didn't want to remote control, I wanted to deactivate. And then I want to redock again. Alright. That could have been a bit annoying. Okay, so this should be recharged by the time I get he over here. And now you're in an annoying spot. So if I get to any relatively equivalent space to that, I think right here. I should be able to make that work. All right, so visit here. Why do you have to be like that? Alright, well, this is annoying. Will I be able to dodge that? Okay, I'm not entirely sure how the mechanics of this work. But if I'm walking right, I think I'll maintain some of that momentum for the initial teleport. Ah! Okay, good. Alright, activate walk. Go as directly perpendicular to that as I can. Let's check the range on this. Yeah, I need to be a little bit closer. I may have screwed some logic up on the way here. We'll see how these teleporters 
ports end. <laughs> okay. So I need to get a little bit closer. Let's get this at least in here. Keep an eye on that. can visit here and uh, let me pick it up there we go okay what have we got here another teleporter we have a sidewinder Which may or may not be useful depending on how many charges it has. If I just straight up teleport to here and it's only got one charge, then I'm a bit dead. Okay, so let's I'll just worry about this for now. All right, so I'm back to my original teleport. Back to here, which I now realize could have been very bad if they weren't looking or actually it might still be very bad hmm that is something that I did not consider if I teleport away now I think I'll be fine. Ooh, and I can use the telepad. Okay. So I'm here. I've got one more ghost coming to catch me up. And that ghost puts me right here. Which should be fine. But would it be faster to teleport out randomly? No. Alright, so I'll wait for the ghost. Thanks for being a sidewinder. Alright, so start walking this way. Shoot it out. Remote control. Make sure I'm getting caught, but I'm not getting caught. Okay. 19 seconds. I'm happy with that. And I'm incredibly happy that... That... The... Stolen equipment was a sidewinder. That was a massive amount of help and uh, may have saved my run. Yeah, because if as soon as they shot me, I would have they would have set off the alarm. And then I still would have gotten pulled back, but the alarm definitely would have been set off by then. So that turned out really well.
And it did manage to secure me a top spot of 111, which is uh, six seconds ahead of second and third. And the, I don't know what just happened. Okay, it just minimized for some reason. But yeah, I am very curious to see how everyone else ran today's uh, because with the visitors, the different visitors that you pick up, there's a lot of different places that you could have used them. And so our runs could be wildly different. And so, yeah. Yesterday, how did I do? I ended up killing two people by accident with explosions. Yeah, if I had just taken, well, I've just noticed that I've, I've got a habit of not seeing unconscious bodies, but if I had taken the bodies into account, it would have just been like a few seconds of clearing the way and making it much safer for uh, leaving through explosions. And that would have soundly got me in first based on my speed. But I screwed it up. And in the end, good job, K said, for first place, Renico and King Redbeard for second and third. And with that, that is the end of today's daily. Uh, Happy New Year, and I'll see you tomorrow.